Documentary, Invasion USA. Sorry, Chuck Norris. When he's not busy voicing his political views and trying to get Mike Huckabee elected, seriously, Chuck, Mike Huckabee, you can find Chuck Norris out back on his Florida swamp ranch wrestling an alligator and chopping logs with a chainsaw with his pet armadillo. The film was made by Canon Films, the fourth film Chuck Norris did for the company. On one fateful day, Norris's ranch is attacked by Russian terrorists led by Rostov. In all the chaos and explosions, Norris survives, and so does his armadillo. Showing how so goddamn macho he is, Norris then goes after all the terrorists, managing to find all of them before even the cops show up. Super shooter! A gun is his only friend. A hail of bullets just might be his end. When there's a job the police can do, he's the man that they turn to. He's the super shooter! The Dark Mary consists of Chuck Norris doing. What, what else? Being the bearded action star that kills bad guys just by staring them down. This is quite possibly the best American propaganda film ever made. Just look at the poster. You have Chuck Norris wielding Uzis. This poster is also proof that Chuck Norris eats babies and then shits out soldiers and tanks. The Russians just go around blowing up anything and everything. They blow up houses with rocket launchers, which apparently don't need to be reloaded for some reason. Let's first talk about the villain Rostov who is a Russian terrorist who is trying to invade the United States. One of the best scenes is where he goes to visit a drug dealer, played by Billy Drago. He kills the drug dealer by shooting him in the balls several times, and then murders his accomplice by slamming her face down on the table where she has been storing cocaine and then throwing her out the window. The scene is hilarious partly because it comes out of nowhere. This scene is never mentioned again, might I add. Nobody reports this to the cops. It's never brought up again. And the guy just goes about his day like nothing happened. It's just there to establish Rostov as a guy you don't want to fuck with. Apparently Rostov's only fear is Chuck Norris. He has nightmares about Chuck Norris after a time when Chuck tried to kill him. If Chuck had killed him then, this, movie, this would be a much shorter movie. Then it would have been called Pre-Invasion USA. Chuck Norris just plays himself. He's an invincible bearded action star that isn't going to take shit from anyone. A gun is his only friend. A hail of bullets just might be his end. When there's a job the police can't do, he's the man that they turn to. He's the super shooter. Super shooter. He just shows up when bad guys are there and blows them away with a either his two Uzis, a grenade launcher, or his fists. Rambo would have to actually look for these guys. It's over. Nothing is over! Nothing! You just don't turn it off! Not Chuck Norris. He uses his powers of beard sense to find the terrorists. These guys don't need the army to take out the terrorists, or tanks, or even the National Guard. All you need is Chuck Norris wielding two Uzis and a grenade launcher, and the Ruskies don't stand a fucking chance. The ending is one of the greatest movie endings ever. You know how most endings just have like a wind down after all the major events happen and you need to conclude everything? Fuck that. Just have Chuck Norris blow the bad guy to smithereens with a rocket launcher. That's how you end an action movie. You can see part of the bad guy's head after the explosion. That's the movie. Terrorists try to invade the US and Chuck Norris kills them all. They're lucky that there's so many terrorists, or else this movie would have been only a few minutes long. After watching every single Chuck Norris movie, I now have a very strong feeling that this is where the Chuck Norris jokes came from. Chuck Norris, he's like a superhero in this movie. Super shooter! A gun is his only friend. A hail of bullets just might be his end. When there's a job the police can't do, he's the man that they turn to. He's the super shooter! 
Shooter! Shooter! What are you gonna do? Stop him? He'd like to see you try. The film was later followed by a sequel a year later called Avenging Force, starring Michael Dudikoff as Chuck Norris's character. What does it have to do with Invasion USA? Absolutely nothing! You literally could have named the character anything else, and it would have just been another run-of-the-mill action movie from Canon Films. So, would I recommend Invasion USA? In terms of Chuck Norris movies, this is one of my favorites, partly because it's so over the top, and also because it's never boring. If you want to see a Chuck Norris kill every terrorist known to man and blow up shit, then this is the movie you're looking for. Shooter! is his only friend. A hail of bullets just might be his end. When there's a job the police can't do, he's the man that they turn to. He's the super shooter. Super shooter!